I'm Myra Kornfeld. I'm a chef instructor at the Natural Gourmet Institute in New York City. And I'm showing the ratio of oatmeal to water on the stove. And in the meantime, I'm gonna cook up a pot of delicious oatmeal. I have as my ingredients here some steel cut oats, some salt, water, those are the basic ingredients. Also, I have a little yogurt. That's a secret ingredient I'm gonna talk about in a moment. To flavor the oatmeal, I'm using a little bit of cinnamon, and I'm gonna finish it off with a tiny bit of maple syrup, almond butter, and butter, and a few nuts, and some strawberries for a great garnish. You first start with some steel cut oats. This one cut, and you can use rolled oats, but this one cup is gonna serve three to four people. I'm then adding an equal amount of water to soak, and I'm gonna soak this overnight. That's the key. I'm also adding a half a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of yogurt. Now the key on this soaking, there's three things. It's time, that's the overnight soak. It's moisture, that's the water. And it's acidity, that's the yogurt. You could use lemon juice, buttermilk whey. What this does is it releases the phytates which are in the oatmeal. They kind of keep the minerals from getting into your body. And, and then it makes the cooking time really fast and it makes all those great nutrients really available to us. So you think about it for two minutes the night before and it makes your morning great and you will love this. This is what the oatmeal looks like after it's been soaked. All of the water has been absorbed. So now to start in the morning, I take an equal amount of water. So I had the one cup in here and I'm gonna bring right now one cup of water to a boil. Now if you do this for fewer people, let's say yourself, you could do it with half cup same way. Soak it in half cup of water, add one tablespoon of yogurt and start half a cup of water on the stove. My water is at a boil, so now I'm adding the soaked oatmeal, stirring it in and I just have to wait till this comes back to a boil. Once it does that, it's about three to five minutes at most until it's perfectly ready. At the same time, I'm gonna be stirring in a little bit of the cinnamon to flavor. This has been cooking for two minutes. It truly is amazing how fast it cooks. So now I'm gonna do my final touches to make it delicious. Just a tiny bit of sweetener. I'm using maple syrup, which goes so well with oatmeal. I'm also swirling in three tablespoons of butter. I just used about one tablespoon of maple syrup. That's enough for three portions. I'm adding the butter, tablespoon per portion, along with three tablespoons of almond butter. This extra fat and protein is gonna add not only so much flavor, but it's gonna add that fat and protein you know to just, you need to really power you through the morning. Very important, it's gonna stick to your ribs. It also makes it taste nutty and buttery. So delicious. I'm finishing off this oatmeal with some walnuts. That's gonna give it a little extra crunch and some added omega-3 fatty acids, which are so welcome. And I'm gonna to top each bowl off with a pretty strawberry. So that's a lesson in the ratio of oatmeal to water on the stove. I'm Myra Kornfeld. I'm a cookbook author and cooking instructor at the Natural Gourmet Institute in New York City. Mm -hmm.